Hey guys, what's going on? Here's another video. This is my Verma collection. Verma is a psych rock band that started in, um, I think it was like 2010. They have a lot of like kraut rock influences and a lot of, uh, I guess you'd say space rock influences. Um, yeah, excellent fucking band. So their first release was in 2010 on a cassette, which I happened to get when it came out. This is, um, I think it's just the self-titled, yeah. Um, so these five songs on here, um, very, very raw stuff. It's very, very, you could tell it was, I, I'm pretty sure most of this was improvised. But for what it is, it's really cool. Um, I like it. It's definitely a really raw and kind of trying to find their sound type of atmosphere. But for what it is, it's really cool. And I'm really happy to have it because I'm sure this is really hard to find nowadays. <laughs> so, um, yeah. This is definitely a treasure of mine as far as cassettes go. Um, I'd give this like a 7.5 out of 10. It's definitely a very unique listen. And then after that, in the same year, they released Salted Earth, which I don't have. I didn't even know they released the physical format of it until I looked at Discogs and I saw that they released 50 copies of it. And so <laughs> I, obviously that's gotta be like impossible to find. I mean, I'll check back every once in a while, but so anyway, Salted Earth is the second album and it's a lot more focused. The songs are obviously like orchestrated beforehand. Um, it's one of their best albums. Um, such, such a fucking good psych rock album. A lot of kraut rock influence. Um, a lot of, uh, I guess you'd, I guess you'd say like motoric feel to it. Kind of like, you know, White Hills is early stuff or, uh, you know, bands like that. Um, yeah, it's such a good album. I wish I had that on physical format. Um, so the thing about these guys is I don't know if they're a band anymore. I know the singer, um, Whitney has her own side project called Mattress, which I actually have her first album on cassette over there too. And it's very good. Um, but as far as this band goes, I don't even know if they're active anymore. So I don't know if we'll ever, uh, get a proper physical release of Salted Earth, but it's a fucking awesome album. Nine out of 10 easy. Um, yeah, I was blown away when I first heard that. And then after that, in 2011, they released Verma 2. I don't have that because they only released it as a split with these other two bands, Shapers and Soundings. Uh, it's pretty good. It's instrumental again. Um, it's I think it's all improvisational. Um, I've listened to it a couple times and I enjoy it. Not as much as Salted Earth. Probably a little bit better than the first album. But uh, yeah, it's good stuff. You know, everything they do is really good. So I'd give that like a 7.5 out of 10. And then after that, in 2012, they released, they released uh, Zoo which I have on vinyl, or I think that's how you say it, it's EXU, I don't know. I love the, uh, everything kind of pops out too, it has that nice feel to it. Um, this is just on black vinyl, but god damn does this fucking album rip. I mean, oh my god. Like, their first three albums are cool, and like Salted Earth is obviously the best, but this one took it to new heights, like you wouldn't, even imagine it's six songs everyone is pretty much close to flawless um i can't say enough good things about this the atmosphere conveyed through these songs is just unmatched the depth and like the just like the ambience of everything is just perfect In my opinion these guys should have fucking took it off taken off after this album i don't know why nothing happened because I, it's easily one of the greatest psych rock albums like ever made, like period. Like not even like, it's not even a discussion. You have Ragnarok, which is like um, kraut rock, but like more of that like heavy psych with like just these amazing vocals, Moons, which is just completely spaced out. Um, From Thunder, excellent song, Sakara. The buildup in that song, it's just like, oh my God. And then the last song is just so fucking awesome. Like just uh, cherry on top of everything. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this album. Uh, this was 
Uh, this might have actually been the first vinyl I ever bought. <laughs> I didn't even have a record player at the time, but I was like, this is so fucking good. I need to like just own this because obviously I'll get a record player at some point. But uh, yeah, 10 out of 10, easy. One of the best albums ever made, period. And so then after that, they released in 2013, a little two song single, seven inch called Chrome. So side A is Ragnarok from EXU and side B is Chrome, which um, would be a part of uh, one of their um, later albums. Um, and then, yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, I think this is like, a, um, yeah, it's a cool little yellow seven inch. This came out on uh, Hozak Records. It's good stuff, good prelude to their uh, future albums. And then after that, they released Coltan in 2013. 2013, which I have on cassette. Um, excellent album, awesome stuff to just put on in the background. It's amazing meditative music. Um, I know they used to play a couple of these songs live. Um, there's no lyrics. They made this entire album for a uh, Vice documentary, I think, back when Vice was like cool. Some about like, um, I think it had to do with like the Congo or something like that. But yeah, it's great, amazingly written songs. Um, this whole album is just amazing. Um, back in the day, my friends used to hang out and we would just have this like on literally on repeat in the background. Like it's, <laughs> it's just the like, perfect like background music. And then in 2014, they released uh, Sunrunner, which um, is, I guess, yeah, I saw them on tour uh, after they released this album, or maybe it was like right before they released this album. I saw them in Philly at Kung Fu Necktie, and most of the songs they played were off this. Uh, this is a very good album. It's not as deep and profound as EXU, but I do appreciate it. A lot of the songs are kind of shorter. Um, there's uh, there's even, there's some kind of, um, I don't know, they're kind of varied because like the first three are, um, or the first four are very just kind of straightforward kraut rock type songs and they're very, very good. Um, and then Hologrammer is interesting and Sacrifice reminds me of something that would have been on like their first album, which is pretty interesting. And then Sunrunner is a great song too. Um, so it's a very good album. It's a little short. I think it's only like 35 minutes, but it's a very, very good album. Um, definitely underrated as far as um, their other releases go and like what people talk about. Uh, so yeah, I enjoy this a lot. This is, a, I'd give this an 8.5 out of 10. And then after that, they released um, Mol Molathen. Uh, in 2015, this is their last release they did. Um, this is purely instrumental. Um, lots of space type atmosphere on here. Um, and it's only five songs, but it's very good. Um, I like uh, Hero's Theme. Um, the Journey is great. Last Battle is awesome. A lot of... Uh, I think there's like... Um, again, like the cover just perfectly kind of exemplifies the type of atmosphere you feel from it just kind of like floating through the cosmos but it's um it does have this like uh um joseph campbell kind of vibe to it like there you're like kind of like you're going on a journey uh so it's cool it's all instrumental there's no vocals i think this is just black vinyl yeah um yeah, it's a good album. I enjoy it. It's not, I don't listen to it as much as like EXU or Salted Earth, but it's a very good album. And that was unfortunately the last thing they did. Um, oh yeah, I'd give this, yeah, I'd give this an eight out of 10. It's very good for what it is. But that was unfortunately the last thing they did. I don't know if they're a band anymore. I hope someday they kind of come back together and make more shit because they were like one of my favorite bands like ever. And I was so happy that I got to see them play live. But yeah, excellent shit. Verma's fucking awesome. If you haven't heard of Verma, um, just fucking check them out because they deserve so much credit and they've made so much amazing music. And I hope they're not disbanded and I hope they're just kind of 
finding their footing. But anyway, yeah, that's my Verma collection. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you later.